In this video, we're going to make a guest chair or a side chair that looks uh, something like this. So the first thing we want to do is open up a new drawing and then make sure you're working in the top view in 2D wireframe and have on ortho and object snap. So we'll start with a circle and I want to make sure that I just start out on the ground plane. So I'll start the circle at 0, 0, 0 and I'll give it a radius of 16 inches. Once I have that, and I know that I'm at the base point I want, I can simply move this circle over so I'm not working over those coordinates. All right, once we have this circle, we're going to make a copy and make the copy off to the right side. So essentially what we're doing is creating the base of the chair and then the cushion. On the right circle, we're going to create a line going from quadrant point to quadrant point. Then we'll use offset at 4 inches and offset the circle in. We can then use trim to get rid of some of these extra lines. We can get rid of these in here and this one in the back. Once we're done with that, we can do J for join and join these together. Then we'll make a copy of our cushion shape and put it right there. We can then go from our top view to something like a southwest isometric view and use extrude to start creating some 3D solid shapes. First we'll extrude the body of the chair and we'll make that 29 inches tall. We'll then use extrude on one of the cushion shapes and we'll make that 16 inches. We'll move our cushion from this midpoint right over so that it's inside of the chair cylinder. Then we can move it straight up 13 inches. While the uh, cushion shape is inside of the cylinder, we can subtract, selecting the chair first, enter, and then the cushion shape. to get a shape that looks about like this. We have the basic chair cut out. We can then extrude the cushion four inches, and then we'll use the fillet command to smooth this out a little bit. So I pick 2D wireframe because it's easier to pick the edges. Then we'll do F for fillet, R for radius, and one inch should work out well. So using that one inch radius, I will select my chair and hit enter, and then go around and pick all of the edges I'd like to smooth off with a curve. It's important to do them all at once, or you'll get some funny corners later. So I'm going to go all the way around those top parts, and then I'll pick the bottom two, enter. And you can see that it's already curved off these edges here nicely. I can then use the fill command again, and a radius of one would be good. I'll pick the cushion and do the same process by going around and picking those edges I want to curve. Okay, once we have that, we can use move, select the cushion, enter. We'll pick this inside midpoint, and then we'll move it over here and click right here so it lines up on the chair. Once you have it in place, go ahead and take a look at it in perhaps a shaded view. And using 3D Orbit, we can spin around our chair to take a look. Looks good.